right, Brody? Change in y over change right. In x. Change in y over change in x. Is there something else that we know is slope? Rise over run. Change in dv over change in iv. Anything else? The rate of change. Not y squared, y2, some y value minus it's a, another y value. Because I can't just put y minus y, because what's y minus y? Zero. So we can't do that. Over x, same thing. The difference in y, change in y, divided by the difference in x, change in x, right? Okay. And the last thing slope is, when we finally find it, we've done everything on the right, slope is then m when we put it back in the equation. I don't know why they chose m. They just did. They chose it long before I did any math. Same reason they chose the hypotenuse to be letter c in a squared, b squared, c squared. Everybody cool? All right. Now listen, this is weird. Well, it's not weird. I want you to draw all four of these lines. Here is where I want them. I want E to be in this section. I want F to be in this section. I want G to be in this section. And I want H to be in this section. But I'm going to make it weird for you. All of you, without talking to anyone, have to draw those lines. And they're going to be different. I want to draw mine because I want to see if you understand what is actually happening here. Everybody cool? So everybody in section E, just put your pen on any point in that section. Any point right now and then draw this line. I'll wait a second for you all to do that. All of you should have been able to count to two and count to five by now. So I'm going to open the screen back up. I'm going to show you what I did. I put my dot way up here because I just dropped the dot on there randomly. Now, if I want to do this slope, is that two, a rise or a run? It's a rise. Is it positive? So that means I need to go up, yes? Well, I kind of put my dot in a stupid spot, didn't I? Because can I go up two from there? That doesn't complete, right? I'm off the graph. So I can't go up two. So what must I do? Garcelle? No, you won't turn it negative. The slope will still be positive, but I can do what with my rise and run? I can make them both negative. So instead of going up, I can go down 2, which is negative 2. And then where must I go? Left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, no matter where you put your line, everybody give me the address, the coordinates of their first dot. What is the X and Y? Somebody just give me their theirs. So negative 7, positive 2 was Braden's first dot, yes? So I'm going to go ahead and with orange, I'm going to go up to negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and up 2. Everyone agree? Go for Myers. Yes. Absolutely. Miss Berdini would like to see you. Negative eight. Okay, that's cool. So does everybody agree that that is Braden's first dot? Now the slope is two fifths, yes? So from here I can go up to and write one, two, three, four, five, correct? Does everyone agree? 
Now watch. Same line, right? Doesn't matter where you put it. The slope is the same. And that will be the same for all of you. No matter who gives me their first point, I could stack all the lines up and they will all match mine if you counted correctly. Everybody good? Great. Now do four F, G, and H. Go. Remember, all slopes need a rise and a run. If you only have one number, what's the denominator? One. Uh, my pen just started its dying thing.